I started from the question of uh, how come some people enjoy other people's suffering? And then how come other people in the same society uh, are just the opposite? They get their joy not in believing that there's bad people that need to be punished, but they get their joy in contributing to people's well-being. The first thing I'll suggest is you can't teach anybody anything. And to have that as an objective is itself to create problems. So, uh, so let's, re let's change the objective. Let's never try to teach anybody anything or to change anybody. If that's your objective, you'll create resistance. Saying what we don't want doesn't make clear what we do want. But worse than that, if we frame our objectives in getting rid of something, leads to violence very often. It makes violence seem attractive when we try to get rid of something. Behind every feeling, there is a need. When she hears your needs without hearing any criticism or demand, and you hear her needs without any criticism and demand, the solution will find you. The conflict will resolve itself. It does need to be resolved. But what most of us do, we skip this and go right to here. Needs contain no reference to specific ways of getting the needs met. Those are preferences or strategies or requests. So we make a big difference between needs and between preferences, requests, strategies. All needs are universal. Every human being in the world has the same needs. I'm not doing it for money. I'm not doing it to get a positive report card. I'm doing it because something that has increased joy in my life, it's joyful to share it with others. It's a fun game. It's the most fun game I've ever found, contributing to people's well-being. I'm really confident it's the most fulfilling game we human beings will ever find.